yeah, we dropped the game. You're damn right, we dropped the game. But before we get into it, let's roll some footage. Let's go. Talking about playing with my emotions. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh huh. Cold blooded. I tell you. Not a great day to be a Hawkeye fan. But it's always a great time when you are a Hawkeye fan. If it makes sense. So, as these clips play and continue to play, I just want to say, today's game, it was not what I expected. Now, what I did expect, because I did not give you guys a pregame, I expected a hard-fought contest. I expected blow for blow and we got that but I didn't expect the L I wasn't looking at an L I mean we we were rolling we were rocking and I don't know well actually I won't pretend to not know I know what happened we ran into a cannonball named Cody McMahon we ran into JC Sheldon who found her swagger and we had Caitlin Clark and we had help here and there and I'll never knock her teammates because I love the whole team but today especially in overtime we were exposed physicality wise and I have not, maybe I have, maybe I haven't spoken on it. But physicality, when we play physical teams like Ohio State, it's hard for us. It is hard for us. Um, we can sit here and say Hannah should have made both free throws. You know, we can sit here and say Caitlin. We, well, actually, we cannot sit here and say she could have done more because, I mean, she does everything here. And she does have help, but she literally carries 45 points. Are you kidding me? Like, she did everything. So, while some may say, just saying, for S's and giggles, she might have hit one more three. But, hey, looking at what J.C. Sheldon did to us, had I known they were going to go into overtime and just proceed to just basically how can i put this in a non-brutal fashion for youtube they're gonna proceed to just kind of just like snatch our heads in ot then jc should have just went ahead and made the three-point shot like here like let's um this is my reaction when jc sheldon shoots the three at the end of regulation Like, that's my reaction. I, mean, I guess looking back in retrospect. Hell, if I knew we were going to lose an OT, then I would have been like, just go ahead and switch the damn thing. Like, hey, we fought hard. In no way did we lay over. I mean, in no way did we lay down. Um, but ultimately, Cotty just had her way today. Um, and... Sometimes you got to get a other team credit. So um, I will go ahead and, and, and tip my cap to Ohio State and admit that um, they fought hard. At one point, we were up by 10, 12 late, and they just continued to uh, keep it pushing. They kept coming for us. Um, you could tell there was no fear in their eyes. Um, some teams, they know what's up. They know, you know, when it comes down to crunch time, just like the Serie we're going to be looking towards Caitlin Clark. And some teams, uh, simply put, they're just going to be prepared. And um, as conference play continues, the games, you know, they just continue to just get harder and harder. And I think Ohio State 
I don't think. They are one of the best teams in this conference. So, you know, it's nothing wrong with healthy fear, and I had that. But um, I just couldn't foresee the loss. But I'll tell you guys this. Um, it's always something to learn from these losses. It's always something to learn from these losses. And today's game is no different. Um, we need to be prepared to, to deal with more physical teams because um, more physical teams are weight at some point. And you just cannot. Um, and I'm not saying that we are because a lot of people are saying that uh, that we're just nobody but Caitlin Clark. That's all we are. But what I'm saying is everybody has to have it rocking and rolling. Um, here we sit today at 18 and two following this loss. Um, number two in the country, probably get pushed back. And then Ohio State, they are 15 and three, 18 in the country. They probably get bumped up. Um, we're just gonna have to wait and see. I'm gonna quickly check out some stats here. Um, Hannah Stokey, she had uh, 10 points. She missed a lot of free throws today. Um, Caitlin Clark, she dazzled 45.7 assists. Um, Molly Davis had 14 points, 8 assists. That was big for her. Um, Kate Martin had 8 points. Didn't have her regular game. Sydney Folter, hustle, grit, grind, and determination. Um, but, you know, she, she's also, you know, vertically, you know, she's challenged, you know, height-wise, but she does hustle. Addie O'Grady, Addie O'Grady had a seven points and four rebounds. I thought she played well in, in limited time. Um, guys, we just got to, I mean, we got a lot of pressure riding on our starters. Caitlin Clark played 42 minutes. Hannah Stokey played 22 minutes, which isn't much. Maybe it's still some, some injury that's going on with her. Um Possibly she playing through it. Molly Davis played 40. Gabby Marshall played 40. Kate Martin played 32 minutes. Um, it's just part of the season. You just got to get through it. Um, I don't know, guys. I do know this, that, you know, bouncing back is what we do. So I believe, um, as I do in all of my teams, that they're just going to get back right. But like I say, physicality is a reason for concern. I'm quickly looking on the Ohio State side, Cody man, man, 33 points. My goodness. 13, 12 rebounds. J.C. Sheldon, 24 points. Turned on late. Taylor Theory, Terry with 11. Celeste Taylor with 10. And um, Rebecca McCula. I can't say her name. McCula Silva. That's the closest I'm going to get to saying her name correctly. And she had 10 points. And she also, I think she was the one that hit that big three during the fourth quarter. Um, hey, at the end of the very day, guys, um, we can't expect Kaitlyn Clark to do everything, and she doesn't have to. But um, against these really great teams, you need multiple scoring options. And y'all know I'm not lying to y'all. Y'all know I'm selling the speaking the truth. Um, I can't sugarcoat that, and I won't. So um, we just got to get them. <laughs> we just got to get them next time. I think we play on March third. Um, that's the rematch against Ohio State. We can't let this shake our season. We having a great one. Um, just bounce back from this. We just got to learn how to, like, physic it's, that's all it is, physicality, grab and rebound, secure the boards, you know, close games, drive me with anxiety. But we had a chance to win this game. And I ain't trying to nitpick, but when, when Kate Martin missed that three, Gabby Marshall was out of place. And the ball went over to Ohio State. They player got it instead. But you can't blame it on one play, so I'm not blaming Gabby for that. But that's just something I saw. Um, you know, ultimately, these teams you got to play perfect against. This was like a tournament game. And I want us to go as far as we can. Uh, love the team. Uh, big, big fan. Big, big fan of Caitlin. But um, I, we just got to – I don't know what we really need to do at this point. We need to – really just step back, analyze the situation, and realize that uh, we got to have more help. We, we got to. And our players, they did contribute. Um, they really did almost help us bring this home and get another victory. But uh, we just fall just short in overtime, which Ohio State dominated overtime. 
Nothing but credit to Cody McMahon, all the scouts. They should be, you know, drooling at seeing how great she played. And J.C. Sheldon, she's the truth. She really is. But with that being said, I've kept y'all long enough. Probably overkept you guys. But with that being said, R.C. is out of here. Yes, we lost today. It's not the end of the world. We will be back. I was strong. I was long. And y'all know what time it is. Let's go Hawks. I'm out.